Time to take a look back at the week that was in the corridors of power with... Quasimodo's got to do something on a Saturday morning. Anyway, it's been another busy week as the unofficial election campaigning continues. Joining us this morning is Shadow Minister for Communications, Jason Clare, and in Melbourne, Resources Minister Josh Frydenberg. Good morning to you both. Now, first to you, Jason. Good morning. The head of the NBN revealed this week that he thinks the technology is adequate for today's needs. Bill Morrow says taxpayers shouldn't be spending money on technology that may not be needed. Um, what's your response? To this. Well, guys, today's a big day. Today, it's three years to the day since Malcolm Turnbull launched his NBN policy where he said we'd all have the NBN by now. Uh, and unfortunately, only 14% of us have got the NBN, so it's been an epic failure. And in that time, we've gone from 30th in the world for internet speeds mm. back to 60th. And the cost of this copper version of the NBN that Malcolm Turnbull's building has doubled. Uh, so all this stuff about an ideas boom and an innovation boom is great, but you can't have an ideas boom when you're still buffering. And unfortunately, we've got lots and lots of people out there that are still waiting for the NBN, and when they get it, they're going to get this second-rate version, when even in New Zealand, people are getting fibre all the way to the home. Josh, you know, it, it makes sense, I guess, that Bill Morrow would be standing up for the yes. thing that he's charged with rolling out. <clears throat> A lot of tech experts have said, look, we're creating a, a, an NBN that's, you know, obsolete technology before it's even started. I mean, what does the government say about that? Well, it's funny that Bill Shorten just this week uh, agreed that he would keep uh, the coalition's NBN because we've actually connected more people in one month than Labor did in three years. They spent $6 billion of taxpayers' money over four years connecting just 50,000 people. So we yeah, have there, There's always going to be a delay when you're a start-up, isn't there? Well, it's not, had, is, we've been comparing had, apples and apples here. Yeah, they, they had more than delays. They had an absolute farce. Uh, and obviously the bills just ran up and up, up, and the taxpayer is going to be paying for that. So we have got a much more efficient and more effective uh, a technology uh, superior uh, NBN that uses, you know, uses what that's is available as well as, as, well as the, the fibre. And that's why you're going to keep The big it. question is whether it is superior technology. And, you know, so many tech experts are saying it's chalk and it's cheese. Not. It is chalk and cheese. The difference between copper, which is early 20th century technology, and fibre today couldn't be greater. And unfortunately, when you've got other countries like South Korea, Japan, Singapore, and as I said, even New Zealand, that are rolling out fibre to people's homes, and we're going to be left with this slower technology, which is not going to meet the needs of people in the future. Mm. Well, we, that's why Bill Shorten this week said that he'll actually keep our NBN. No, and he, he didn't, he didn't Bill, say that, Bill Josh. You're, uh, you're, you're, and you're Bill lying Morrow. there. You're not saying the <laughs> yeah, truth. That's right. yeah. uh, the fact is, Turnbull made a mess of this. If, if you're in the private sector and you were given a budget and you doubled it, you'd get sacked. But what did that's Bill exactly what, say? What's Josh referring what, what to? What Bill there? Shorten says is if we win the next election in a couple of months, we can't fix all of the mess that Malcolm Turnbull's made of this <laughs> in one instant. If you go and pull out all these nodes, these boxes in the street, that Malcolm Turnbull is building, then it will cost a lot more money and take much longer to build. What we will do if we win the next election is we will roll out more fibre. But we can't fix this at the click of a fingers. And as everybody I've spoken to in this industry who knows anything about this says, at the end of the day, everyone's going to need fibre to the home, not this copper rubbish that Malcolm well, Turnbull's building. Gentlemen, unfortunately, we do have to leave it there. Uh, Josh, it's hard to believe we're having this um, debate for the second election running now, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, we will, uh, we'll you, talk gentlemen. more about it as we go. Cheers. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, guys. Um, it's time now for news with Talitha. Thanks, Ange. Good morning again. The Prime Minister has been greeted.